Vellani. The past 25 years been hard at work capturing intoxicating scenes from around the world. Oil on canvas. After more than 51 man shows exhibited globally since 1972, his works appear in many collections and institutions, the likes of the Chase Manhattan Bank, New York, the Musée d'Affiche in Paris, as well as the countless private collections around the world. Joining us now in our Seapoint studios is Mr. Envalani himself. A very good morning to you, and it's an honor to have you, sir. Welcome. Thank you very much. Tell us more about yourself, about Envalani, for those who don't know your work and, your, and yourself, of course. I was born in Cape Town, South Africa, and uh, I grew up in Bridgetown, which is on the Cape Flats. Um, then from there I went to, to, to another suburb called Penland Estate uh, from where I was exiled in 1972 after graduating from the Michaela School of Fine Art associated with the uh, University of Cape Town. And uh, after that, most of my time in Europe, in the U.S., Australia, you know, and in various places around the world. Mm -hmm. Was painting always your passion? Yeah, I, I think I, I must have been about four years old when I started uh, in dabbling in oils. Mm -hmm. and, and how did it come about that you, you, you sort of made this a career uh, uh, for, for, for yourself and, and, and of course uh, for many people who enjoy your artwork? Well, I, th I, think, I think the catalyst in my life has been Dulcie September, who uh, had me sub A, sub B, standard one, two, three, four, five. And then she was arrested in my presence and incarcerated. Mm -hmm. Went to Lusaka um, after she came out of prison. Mm -hmm. And from there was sent to Paris. Um, and she was killed there. Mm -hmm. Was that part and parcel of your inspiration? Yeah, she told me when I was maybe eight years old, uh, you would either have to write or, or paint, of course, you know, in order to survive here. Mm -hmm. Modern day today, many years later, where do your creativity come from? Nature, the, the earth, and, you know, uh, the protection of the environment. Mm -hmm. Is that what you focus on these days in terms of your painting? Yeah, I, I, you know, you know, the recourse of humans are, you know, uh, what well, I mean is the natural world. And um, I spend all my time, um, you know, in, in nature. I, I try to, to work in places where there's not many humans about. What other artist or perhaps art movement would you say uh, influences your work? There's a few. Um, um, my work is compared to Cicely, Alfred Cicely, you know, that, uh, that grew up in Paris um, during the mid-19th century. And, and um, of course, my own, my own inspiration would come from those painters who paint in the way that I do, which is immediately on the spot in the open with oils, and that's Van Gogh, Cicely, Maurice, Pizarro. Um, Gauguin painted a few times uh, in this manner when he was 22 years old, Monet, Renoir. Um, but in a contemporary sense, I've not met any, anybody that, 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 that paints immediately on the spot. Uh, it takes me about six hours to complete a canvas. Well, I tell you. How's your work been received here in South Africa? South Africans aren't aware of me. Uh, they, they're not even aware that I'm alive at the moment. Mm -hmm. And we need to change that because, I mean, a great artist like yourself <laughs> being here. Are you, are you going to do an exhibition in Cape Town or in South Africa soon? It's not really an exhibition. Um, I, I've not made my works available to the, to the public for the last 15 years because they're too valuable in, you know, in the world. Um, I, I do sell them to collectors all over the world. Mm -hmm. uh, some of these collectors have 50 to 100 of my, of my works. Um, South Africans are not informed about me, I guess, because, um, I mean, you know, in, uh, initially I, I was raised on, on, on the good side of the mountain here in Cape Town. So, uh, you know, what goes on on the other side, nobody knows. Mm -hmm. 
What is your message to ordinary South Africans uh, having, uh, having not been able to see your work over so many years and they would like to see it? Yeah, um, I, I do intend to have my works in a trust, either in the US, Australia, or South Africa, but uh, the mechanics for setting this up mm -hmm. um, does not exist here, I guess. And um, I also would like that my works be seen by, you know, any, by anybody. Um, and I'm all also aware of the fact that nobody should ever pay to see these works. Mm. Have, have you been in discussions with any of the galleries here in South Africa as yet? No, I've had no contact with South African galleries at all. Sir, we need to change that. But thank you so much for your time and joining us here. Thank you very much. It's an absolute pleasure to be in South Africa. Um, I'm, I'm totally fascinated by the exquisite beauty of, this, uh, you know, of the Western Cape. And I've spent some time out here in the desert and uh, just, you know, just painting it. The works I'll be presenting to South Africans in Cape Town uh, is my attempt to make them accessible to collectors here. Mm -hmm. And uh, so I've made a little package of 11 works that will be um, shown in the Alan Gray uh, finance offices here on the waterfront on February the 3rd. But that is just uh, so that South Africans can at least um, have access to my work. I thank you once again for your time and all the best of luck. So thank you. Thank you very much, sir. Well, there you have it, hey? World-class painter on our own doorstep, born and bred here, and we don't know him. Have you seen his work? Well, you have a chance, perhaps in Cape Town. He said he'll uh, exhibit there uh, at one of uh, the companies there. That was Envolani in our Seapoint Studios.